is a river in Egypt. Some of y'all get that. Some of us are in denial. That's why we will never graduate because you won't graduate if you continue to fail test. Graduation is predicated upon past test or test that you pass. All right? Confrontation, that's number one. Then control. You can never control something that you refuse to confront. So the second level is I got to control that which has previously had control over me. Is that all right? After you confront and control, the third and the final stop is that you conquer. <laughs> this is, this is the, deliver, the deliverance stop. This is where you can celebrate because the thing that used to have control over you, the thing used to keep you up late at night, y'all ain't here. The thing used to wake up thinking about, walk through the day, thinking about y'all ain't here. Control so much of your mentality. God says, watch now, when you conquer it, it's under your feet, y'all ain't here. In other words, this enemy you shall see no more. Touch a neighbor and say, I'm about to conquer something. I'm about to, I'm about to conquer something. Some of y'all within the next three to seven minutes are going to conquer something that you've been dealing with for the last three to seven years. Who am I talking to up in here? God, I feel the Holy Ghost in this way. Did you hear what the Holy Ghost said? What you've been dealing with for the last three to seven years, you get ready to conquer within the next three to seven minutes, y'all. And some of y'all right now are standing on top of the thing that was trying to give you a nervous breakdown. It was trying to drive you crazy. It was trying to make you feel like you missed God. Look at your neighbor and say, it's under my feet now. It's under my feet. It's under my feet. So watch this. He's preparing us. All right. All right. All right. Let me give you an application, real life application. We had a revival here, spontaneous breakthrough. Everybody that was involved in leadership obeyed the voice of God and we extended the revival. The revival was preparing us for the test last Wednesday. not obey God. That whole situation, watch this, because I had to talk with him, I'll tell you after this, glory to God. Uh, 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 that whole situation would have went, enough. matter of fact, it was pre-planned to go another way. Y'all ain't here. So what God did was fortify us, y'all ain't here. And when we were in that conference room, we were like the 120, y'all ain't here, in the upper room, y'all ain't here. And I serve a God that will allow believers to turn a conference room into an upper room. Lord, who am I talking to in this place? Glory to God. Hallelujah. In other words, you don't know who you belong, who you messing with, y'all here. But when you want one accord, y'all ain't here. It don't matter who the leader is, y'all ain't here. Because we're all one, y'all ain't here. When you mess with them, you mess with me, y'all ain't helping me over there. And see, some of us need to have that ghetto mentality in church, y'all ain't here. Church, y'all ain't hearing me up in here. You know what? I've been messed up a, a, a relationship of mine. One of, hallelujah, a girl I was about to marry. Matter of fact, hallelujah, we was almost engaged. And a mother fooled around. And messed up, I was pastor in the church. And we went over, I went over her house and she thought she could talk about one of my members. I was over her house and she was flipper because she was the president of the university thought she was bad y'all not here so she just talked about one of them I said God I had my back turned and turned around no, 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 no. Hallelujah. I said what did you say she said that B I said who are you talking about uh, she said uh, someone so I said you can't talk about her like that I know I'm in your house uh, but I'm getting ready to cut up in your house because you talked about one of my members in your house y'all are here why when we gonna get back to the day Y'all ain't here. Well, we stop being so soft in church. Well, we just let folk talk about folk that we worship with. Y'all ain't hearing me over there. Hallelujah. My destiny is 
connected to that destiny. And you ain't just gonna walk up and talk about hallelujah folk that are worshiping like that. Because when you allow that to happen, you open up a door to the spirit of division. Y'all ain't here. I've got to biblically love you. Y'all ain't here. Some of y'all don't like yourself. And how in the hell did you expect me to like you if you don't like yourself? But God told me to love you. And in loving you, y'all not here. The Bible says love covers. Who am I talking to? A multitude of sin. So what they had a baby out the window. Hallelujah. Don't you talk about them. So what they still sleep around with Stevie. Y'all ain't here. It's because the preachers are consistent and they call out that gossip spirit in you. Sometimes you need to sit your sweet hips down and shut the hell up. Yeah, I said it. Shut up. Glory to God because you don't need all of that. Any fool can have a couple people following them. That don't make you a leader. The blind lead the blind. They all fall into a ditch. How in the world are you going to be a leader and you can't see? Who am I talking to in here? You have no vision at all. After a while, the Lord did test Abraham. And he said to Abraham, he said, here am I. Then God said, take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac. Take your son, thank you, dear. your only son, whom you love, thank you, sir, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah. See, it don't take a whole lot of character to give out of your overflow. But it takes a whole lot of integrity to get out of your own name. Some of y'all gonna get there to be preaching over here. Hallelujah. It don't take a lot to give out of your overflow. But when you give it your last, who am I talking to? It says, give your own. Who am I talking to? And God says, He's looking for that people who's willing to trust Him with their life. Y'all ain't helping me up in here. Glory to God. When you all in, then God will give you all. And when He knows you're all in, y'all ain't here. But those of you that's holding back, don't expect God to bless you in this season. Y'all ain't here. For those of y'all that say, what the heck, y'all ain't here. Because they got these five dollars, they gonna help me anyway. Y'all ain't here. I'm gonna put my neck, y'all, who am I talking to? Touch your, touch, touch your neighbor. I wish I had some. I know I got some worshipers back there. My little nieces back there. Hallelujah. There's a new contemporary song. Glory to God says all or nothing. Who am I talking to in here? And that's what God is looking for. All or nothing. Uh, lean on your neighbor real quick. I ain't going to take a whole lot of time because I done already preached. And tell your neighbor it's all or nothing. Y'all here. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. See, some of y'all here. Yeah, yeah. The devil has tried to push you up. Some of y'all not here. The first up. Uh, hallelujah. Seven months of this life you've been backed into a corner. Uh, and you just don't want to. Uh, one more thing to go off. Uh, it might uh, make you fall off. Of you. Who am I talking to? I've been going through so much pressure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wish I had my old rap group uh, who did it here. He said don't push me cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. It's like I chuckle sometimes and makes me wonder how I keep it going. Uh, 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 who am I talking to in this place? Uh, yeah, I just one more thing pushed me. Uh, I'm a fever. Uh, one more thing happened to me. Uh, hallelujah. See, when I, see, I just don't let it happen to me. Uh, I resist it. Uh, oh, I wish I had some help up in here. 